Hey folks, I'm here in Orlando, Florida for uh, a week. Want to give you a bit of a, a market update in terms of uh, what's going on. It's been a fairly wild swing and a lot of people have been asking us uh, when do we get this year-end rally finally. Well, I still think there's a chance for some sort of a rally in the year-end. Obviously, you haven't seen any real strong buy signals yet in the broader sense. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of charts on my mobile workstation here uh, and uh, help you make sense of this. So the point of this video is to kind of tell you that I still think we need to be remain very uh, vigilant. Uh, our market rover, which is the tool that I use to find trades, has given us some buy signals, but they really none of them have really seen any real uh, follow through buying, any real strength to them. And really the broader, the, the broader problem that I see is that still there's not enough fear in the market. The problem is that maybe in December we can't get that fear that we need to really flush the market. But let me show you guys a, a couple of very simple charts to kind of contextualize this. Um, Beautiful weather here, by the way. But um, what you'll see is just looking at the very simple chart of the S&P 500, the SPY ETF. And the most important aspect of this here that I want to point out to you, this is a weekly chart uh, and a multi-year multi increments. What you can see is that this trading range over the past three, uh, let's say six or seven months or so, is very well defined. So on the lower end, we have around two, let's call it 260 on the SPY about 2,600 on the S&P 500, and about uh, 280 on the SPY, which is about here, uh, or about 2,800 on the S&P 500 cash. So we remain in this range, and all we've done so far right now, today is uh, Friday, December the 7th. It's uh, morning time here, and uh, the market opened about an hour ago or so. And you can see we're bouncing off of those lows here on a weekly basis, but that's all we're doing. We're still very much stuck in this trading range. So to me, the, the, the main call that we've made for clients and really the way that I've been operating is with, with an above average size cash position. And I think that's the best thing to do. A lot of times when you have a choppy market like this, it is the best thing you can do is taking a step back and working with more cash. And that's really what I've been doing, what we've been telling clients to do really since early October. And, and that's it. So the other thing that, that, that's concerning here is that if I look at something as simple as the VIX, which is measuring the S&P 500 uh, volatility or the implied volatility of rather what, what we still haven't seen is a move above 30 and given the seasonality in December where where there still is natural buyers in the market um, maybe we can't get that move although again I want to be cautious saying that but I just really think we need to see we saw fear but I don't think we've seen panic yet and panic to me would be closer to a VIX above 30 you can see I actually set an alert here we simply haven't uh, haven't reached that. So if I take all this together and, and I, I flip through some of the um, more sort of uh, more sort of um, uh, higher beta type uh, sectors and, and so on and so forth, I'm just not seeing that real flush that we need to see with real meaningful follow through buying. It doesn't mean that we can't get bounces, but I just don't think we've seen the flush that we need to really. Uh, get this market uh, lower so that we can get a tradable bounce in, 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 in the broader sense, aside from just a few, uh, a few, uh, a couple of stocks here or there. So um, I think it's very important to remain uh, vigilant here. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing uh, working with an above average size cash position. If and when we see that flush or, or real fall through buying, I'll be sure to share that with you again. Uh, certainly as our clients as well. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up like. See you guys soon.